Hey everyone, happy Memory Planning Monday. It's Jen with Chappy Plans. Today I have a pre-planning process video. So if you'd like to see why and how I choose what I do for my memory planner, then stick around. Chappy fam, happy Monday. I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week. And if you're not watching this on Monday, I hope you've had a wonderful week as of now. <laughs> um, today I'm planning in my Storyline Chapters planner insert, and I decided that every other week I was going to do a pre planning process video versus an actual process video because uh, I got a lot of feedback on my pre planning video, and a lot of people said that they found it very helpful. And so, yeah, that's why I'm going to share it. So, for this week, I kind of cheated and sort of picked out, you know, wanted to use the Sun Chaser items that I have. So let me show you how I choose to do things. And before I do that, I have to show you the second half of last week's spread, which is this one. So if you watched last week's process video, then you got to see me create the left side of the page for our spring break, which was not very spring-like, um, as you can see. So this is the second half of the week, the 22nd through the 24th of April. Lots and lots and lots of pictures. Very picture-heavy week. Um, so over here, I just have uh, Nora and her friend Tessa were together uh, two days in a row. And the second day, I took them to the park and I took them to lunch. So I just did this little like flip out with a picture of the girls at the park. Um, and it's not really in chronological order, but I wanted to feature these photos on the outside because of the colors. So, uh, chronologically it would have been lunch, park, and then at the end of the day they were playing Roblox. So I just created this little extra flip out with journaling and stole this tag printable from a Stop the Blur class. And then some more journaling about that with the printable that says, heck yes, and then absolutely not to journal about how they had a lot of fun, but they were also bickering quite a bit. Um, and then this was Saturday the 23rd. We, as a family, went to, um, it was very rare that we we don't have something on a Saturday. And for, I can't remember, oh, because it was spring break, Nora did not have dance class Saturday. So we took the opportunity uh, to enjoy the day and go up to Saratoga State Park and just walk around Saratoga Springs, which is where there's like a race course and um, for horses. And it's just a lot of fun. So it's a cute little village. So we went up for the day. Nora likes to dress like my twin a lot of the time. I don't know if you've noticed that, but I may or may not have shared that here before, but she wanted to match outfits uh, to the best that we could. So that's us in front of this really pretty tree in the park. And then I did some flip ups here with some journaling. There's Nora by herself. She's like, mommy, take my picture. And um, when we were walking to the park, Nora found this little chalk sign. You can't see it in the picture, but it says, God loves you. And she wanted to stand in the middle and get her picture taken. And then this was funny outside of the toy store we went into. Um, my husband's like, let's stand next to the I, originally I was just going to take a picture of Nora. And then my husband's like, no, Nora, look, let's pretend like we're like this um, Playmobil guy. So that's them being silly. And you can see how much she really looks like her dad in this photo, which I love. Um, so that's some journaling for Saturday. And then I have what the duck because this was so funny. So I did some stamping on this circle sticker. It says, did that actually just happen? Okay. And a coffee that says, yes, please. Because the other two photos, which I wanted to hide because the colors are dark and don't go with the rest of the vibe, um, is where we found this really fun, like gourmet coffee shop. And we got this really nice latte, the sky buyer latte. So... And then when we were ready to go home and we got back to the car and this duck pretended like it was injured. Well, we thought it was, it wouldn't move. It looked really hurt and stunned. I got super close to it. It would not move. So we were like, okay, we even tried to turn the car on and everything didn't move. So we ended up calling a local wild rehab place and they said, oh, in a half an hour, this lady will come. So she came and um, before she got there, the duck kind of started coming too. So we started giving it, we had like crackers in the car. So we started giving it crackers and it seemed to sort of like come out of the fog it was in a little bit and the days. It just looked really stunned, like maybe it had been hit or maybe it fell, we didn't know. So either way, we were just waiting and when the lady came, the duck ended up like waddling away basically. Um, 
it was pretty funny. It was like a whole extra hour added to our afternoon that we weren't prepared for. So um, I just journaled about that on the back and that is what sits inside here. And that's why it says, what the duck? <laughs> and I use the marquee stamp set to make this. And then some journaling and a little hidden tag here of Sunday. That's a selfie I took at church and some journaling and then this selfie as well. Um, so this is tucked in underneath the vellum pocket here. Oops. And I like to use these photo corners as arrows. So I don't really use photo corners, but I like to use them as arrow stickers. You can see I wanted to do a uh, mimic was happening on the left here on the right. So that was the spring break week. It was exhausting for me. It was very, very busy. Um, again, used a lot of the Jen Hadfield items and then that brings us to the 25th through the 1st of May. So on this week, there was not a ton happening. So what I ended up doing, these I sent these little two by two photos, I sent to Walgreens um, pretty regularly so that I have them ready to go. And then I realized, okay, so these photos are all for the right side of the page. Um, and I was like, that's not really that many photos for the left side of the page, which is fine. You don't have to have a lot, but just in case, I always go back to my Instagram stories and you can check your archives and see what you shared. And so I wanted to um, document, okay, oh, that's Sunday, uh, that I was on day 56 of the Morning Meltdown 100 because I had shared that to my stories. And then that my big order from Studio Calico um, had come in. So that is these are the photos that i have and it was a tough week nora had a lot of tantrums and it was a very very heavy like um it was a pretty stressful week from what i remember so let me see so then i like to lay out the photos and see what goes on what day and okay 20 so there's nothing on monday which makes sense because it was like the day after spring break and I was totally spent. I actually felt sick. And I think Nora ended up staying home because she was um, having stomach issues. So I'm looking at the photos between the left and the right side of the page. And even though I only planned in half weeks, I need to look at everything all together so I can kind of figure out what colors I'm picking up the most of. And I love that I see a lot of like these blues and these like bright yellows and pinks so I was like oh sun chaser is going to be perfect for that so the next thing I like to do is choose some patterned papers that I know I will want to use for embellishments and interactive elements I'm really drawn to a couple different patterns in here so one of my favorites that I think will go well is I love that one, but not for this this week. Where'd it go? Okay, I love the stars and the rainbows. I'm gonna earmark it. So what I can do is take a sticky note and that way I know this is one of the patterns I'd like to use. And where's that other one? Oh, the stars because I also have the 12 by 12 papers. So in case I end up want, needing to use more paper, I don't want to waste these sheets just yet or vice versa. If I don't need a lot of paper and only need a little, then I'll use these first and save the 12 by 12 sheets. I hope that makes sense. I also have a lot of die cuts here from the kit that I purchased from Heidi Swap Shop and I love the rainbows. So I'm definitely going to bring these out and a lot of these teals and blues. So like this yay tag, um, maybe even this tag. These are just maybes. These are all things that I'm thinking could potentially work on this layout. Um, I'm seeing a lot of blues and yellows. Let's see. That one could work for journaling. Could work. Maybe this. Here's the story. Although, I don't know. So I'm just picking embellishments and items that coordinate. This one's cute, so happy. All right, 
talks about for now and then I just keep it off to the side and then I also have my puffy stickers I have my um, larger sticker sheet here and these will be great for journaling if I decide to pull these out and then I also have my thickers puffy stickers I'm thinking splendid or weekend for over here but right now I'm focusing on the left side of the page I gotta remind myself of that okay and then of course I always have my um, embellishments I'll show you this is where I keep my stop the blur subscription items and any other extras that I purchased from Heidi Swap. so I have a lot of alphas these are all my alphas over here and then all the sticker sheets that come in the various kits and in other item um, things that I've bought that are either part of Allie Edwards or Heidi Swap's kits um, and then you know I've got labels from color theory and all these little extras so and then I've got my pack of printables so I will need to incorporate some of these okay so now that we're back you see how I have this color scheme and then the printable for May even though we're not quite to May yet is this one and again these colors are going to be perfect maybe not the blue the blue might be a little bit bright um that's okay I can work with the yellow for sure and the pink uh this blue from the June printable actually works better let's see what was March this one I've used quite a bit oh and then there is this journaling printable that's still available for free by the way on Heidi Swap's website so those are possible options let's see let me use I'm going to use this and this here as my inspo to pull some inks. So I've got to do that now. Let me think. Maybe salvage patina. Let's see. Maybe cracked pistachio. Although that looks like it might be a little too green. Hmm. I've got tumbled glass. about broken china that one might be a good one i'm pulling like so many colors right now i'm gonna pull these anyway just in case and then we could do scattered straw maybe um and then we need some pinks Ooh, but I also see like this orange in here. I've got um, wild honey, possibly. Rusty hinge might be okay. Um, I'm gonna pull it. It looks brown, but then on the, I'll show you. It's a little deceiving. It's kind of an orangish brown so it's whoops it does kind of match this color in the rainbow here but then so does wild honey so I'm gonna leave these out look at so many inks you think you don't need all the inks but you do you totally do and then I'm gonna need some pink shades so let's do hold on let me pull the pinks um we could do saltwater taffy and warm lipstick, I think. That looks good. Maybe even pick raspberry or pitch flamingo. All right, that's enough. My gosh, I have so many inks out right now. I have a lot. I have a, a lot of the colors, but um, I'm gonna leave these out. And these kind of sit off to the side while I play. And then what I do with, so put all these embellishments as possibilities. I like to keep them 
in a little tray. Okay, so they're just gonna hang out in here. And then these are going to go in the Stop the Blur packaging and they just kind of hang out here. And then when I'm done with scraps and things, I will put it all in here and save it for this half of the week. So now that you've seen what I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna plan out this at least half of the week. Um, and when I am all done, I will come back and do the explaining. Okay, I am finished and my desk is, there's a bit of a crafter math here, I'll show you. It's not too bad because I did clean up a bit, even though it may not look like it, but you know, kind of a hot mess. Uh, <laughs> but here is my finished half week. I'm so excited because um, you'll have to go watch, if you didn't see it, my most recent Flip Through Friday haul. I got all the stamps from Heidi Swap's one hour 50% off stamp sale. So my little caddy is chock full of stamps now. All the Heidi Swap stamps, which I'm super excited about. So I was more than ready to use the um, blue skies. I just keep kept seeing them. Look, this is popping up. If your stickers pop up, just use some glossy accents or other glue to make sure it stays on the page. Anyhow, I was really excited to use them. I, I just love the way they look in everybody else's planners. And I was like, I need those. And I wanted the smaller set, but they were not available. So the great thing about um, Heidi Swap's website is you can hit the notify me option underneath a product that's sold out. And if they come in stock again, you'll get an email. All right. So I did something a little bit different. I mean, of course, my page is like stuffed full. Me and white space, not friends. I'm the same way with decorative planning. But I did opt for more of like, there's a lot of color, but with white background. Does that make sense? Like, if you look on these pages, there's just, it's just like concentrated bits of color. Although I guess this one has a lot of white space as well for me. Um, but what I mean by that is like the white background with the rainbow um, sun chaser colors on it. And I love it. So this was a sick day for Nora. I think I explained in the beginning of the video that she was home with stomach issues. So I used the letters from the um, sticker book. Where is it? Let me find it in this hot mess of things. In this, uh, there's 390 stickers, eight sheets here that came with the Sun Chaser kit, but you can also get this on the website or at Joanne. Um, so I use it to spell out sick day and then this little uh, die cut piece here and then I cut a label in half and I used some of these phrases from a Stop the Blur February kit. And then um, some of these word stickers are from the sticker book that I just showed you. So this is journaling because Monday there were no photos. So whenever there's journaling and no photos, I try to use the opportunity to practice my stamping and have some stamp therapy. And you couldn't really see where I stamped out pray first uh, with the tumbled glass color. It didn't really show up, but that's okay. It's always trial and error and just having fun and, you know, happy accidents and maybe not so happy accidents. It's all good. This is not about perfection. This is about storytelling. Um, so I wrote, I was so ready to have a quiet house and work, be with other adults, but Nora was home with a bout of diarrhea. What a true Monday. Sorry if that was TMI, but that's, that's what I wrote, friends. <laughs> And then I did a lot of playing on Tuesday because finally Nora did go back to school. It had been like the longest spring break ever. I was exhausted. I don't think I've ever felt so tired in a like a really long time. So I did a lot of playing in my craft room. So I used this uh, tag that came off of a 12 by 12 sheet from the Sun Chaser kit. And it says, this is my happy place. And there was a spot for journaling, but I covered it up with this picture because I wanted to incorporate some yellow. And then if you open it up, oops, the sticker went flying. <laughs> um, there is the blue. And I chose, I could have put the blue on the outside to bring in, tie in the blue on the page, but I wanted some more yellow, if that makes sense. And then I wrote, finally, I went to school, Nora went to school and kicked it in, I kicked it into high gear and filmed all the things. I even managed to do a double workout. I'm fully obsessed with all things Heidi Swap. And then I put this, um, I printed out the Stop the Blur class printable on sticker paper, 
or label paper rather. So that's what this is. It says making pretty stuff. And then I stole this idea from the Stop the Blur class. I think it was from March, maybe, no, May. It's the class where she shows us what to do with her new die cuts, which I used to make this little pocket. And then I used a hole punch to punch this out and I kept Nora's picture in the front and I did the journaling here. And, and then this was my order from a Studio Calco sale and a Heidi Swap sale. I think everything on Heidi Swap's website was 40% off that day um, when I placed my order. So I got a whole bunch of goodies. So that's a picture of that. And then just wanting to bring in some pink. So I used this little file uh, paper from a paper pad in a different Stop the Blur kit. And it just says, are we having fun yet? Big accomplishment. Keep on keeping on. That I stamped on sticker paper because, again, I I originally stamped it with this um, rusty hinge color and it did not look good. So I re-stamped it using scattered straw on white label paper. And I think it, it, you know, it sticks out, but it's better than it looked. Trust me. And then I just put a label underneath and some layering. I just wanted to practice playing with stickers, really. So you can see that I'm practicing doing that. I cut these rainbows out of the paper pad. That's my sweaty selfie and just my progress. Day 56 of 100 of Morning Meltdown 100. And then um, this is a picture of Nora and her friend at school. And they were. it just says, Tessa and Nora playing phonics memory at school. Hashtag frenemies because they totally are. They're kind of like sisters. So they get along one minute and then the next minute they're at each other's throats. And then this was so funny. This is a picture of Nora. <laughs> This is Nora being Nora, is what that is. Um, my friend Johanna, who Nora calls Auntie Jojo, was sitting here on the couch, and then myself and my husband, and she was just, like, going on and on and on about, I don't even know, it was some nonsense story. It made absolutely no sense, and she was laughing so hard she couldn't even finish telling this little story she made up, so, and I don't, she was using random things as props. Very strange, but it was really funny, and I'm glad I took that picture. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I had to include that. So that's my half spread. I hope you enjoy these pre-planning process videos. Uh, let me know, did you miss the actual process? Hopefully not. Um, I personally, as a newer memory planner, really appreciate videos like the ones that I am trying to create. I'm thinking from, you know, the noob perspective of, yeah, but how does this all actually happen? And so that's what I was trying to film and that's what I'll try to do every other week. Uh, I'll link Heidi Swap's subscription classes and things like that below. I don't usually link individual products um, unless for some reason they're like, uh, you know, it's a collab or it's an affiliate and someone has asked me to share or review a product. Uh, so if you have specific questions on them, please feel free to leave them in the description box. If you have specific questions on them, please feel free to leave them in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram. I'm very active over there as well. And typically I show little sneak peeks as I'm working on things. So you definitely want to be following me there. But I really appreciate you watching this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on my content. And I will see you in the next video, friends. Have a great week. And remember, you are enough. Bye.